knowing that the year is coming to a close, I wanted to share the top three things that I do to plan for the next year. You should be starting this right now. In fact, you probably should have started this a couple weeks ago. But the number one thing that I do now is I do sit down with all the presidents of my companies. And before that, I would just sit down with myself and I reflect, number one, on what things went well this year and what things did not go well. This is what I refer to as deep work around goal setting and just reflection on your company. When I was a smaller company, I would just go through and I would take the time to write down all the things that I thought and that I knew of that were going really, really well and maybe why and then the things that weren't going well. You use that information, right, to be able to plan 2024. Because obviously if things went well, you wanna repeat that, and if things didn't go well, you wanna take the time to really think about what processes, people, or items you need to put in place to be able to drive those in the right direction. Second thing that I plan for, growth. In all of your companies, if you are not growing, then you're dying. Staying the same is like dying. For me, I'm always thinking about what are my growth goals? How many units am I gonna be able to grow? How, how much revenue am I gonna be able to bring in? And by figuring out that growth goal, I'll also back that up, thinking through by the end of 2024, where will I be? And then I'll back that up by quarter and even by month. So I'll know by the end of January where I'm supposed to be to be on track for that growth goal. That's really important because the growth helps change the vision of your business and that is something as you add more employees that you wanna be able to properly communicate so that they can plan. And speaking of planning, the third and final things that I do, I go through with understanding what I'm gonna do differently that didn't go well this year, with considering the growth goals that I have for next year, I am gonna consider both the processes or systems and the people that I am gonna to need to upgrade or grow in the next year. A lot of people don't do this, right? They're just so excited and they set the goal for revenue or they set the goal for unit count goal. But what they don't think about is how many more employees are they gonna to need to be able to sustain the standards that you want? Or what is gonna to happen to your current systems if you're at two units and you plan to grow to 10? Well, systems depreciate. It's called process depreciation. And if you're not constantly thinking through of how those systems are gonna get stretched with your new revenue growth goals, then you're not gonna be building the systems adequately or at least projecting them in advance. So I am gonna take the time to think about all the processes, the people that I need to hire, or the people I currently have and where they need to be from a leadership or execution standpoint, and I wanna start rolling some of that out now. Those are the three things that I consider or that I plan for right now for the next year.